fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey, Star Trek Fleek Man fans, and today I want to go over a video that we needed to make, like, back when this arc started, but we couldn't because Scopely didn't put all the things in the patch notes for y'all, so we had to accumulate them slowly over time through things like our Discord, and then finally they updated it because, as the title says, there were a lot of quality update, you know, quality of life updates added, but they didn't feel like, you know, important to tell. Nobody needed to know, apparently, because even when Scopely does something right, we got to find it for ourselves. So, thankfully, they went and did the update to the patch notes so we can discuss it. And I'll talk about the quality of life updates that have happened in the month of April 2023. They do affect a lot of the players, and for some of these updates, affect all players. So, number one, I actually want to bring up the one that y'all should already know about because I brought it up. Now, this one is for higher level players, depending on what y'all consider higher level. It's 40 plus. With the update to the Xborg store where the boxes down here were significantly increased now we did discuss this one in the patch notes video with some of these getting a times 10 increase and it did vary based on the level of where your stuff is in terms of your ship so for example my Talios is not maxed yet but still if i do a seven chest pull i'm not having to do this for quite some time they were improved to an amount that allowed you to now skip that as part of maybe a daily routine that you would normally have it in some ways is reminiscent to what you level 38 players out there experience with freebooters where you now no longer have to do swarms and even faction hunting because it covers some of that now there are still some updates that absolutely need to happen in the dailies i want to make it seem like it's perfect but i do want to acknowledge that everybody agrees and y'all can if you don't agree you're crazy if you do agree type in the comment section down below freebooters were an amazing addition and this does help a lot of players in the 40s and 50s skip grinds personally what i do is I do the Talios one. That's a big one for me. Absolutely huge. I do the Mantis one. Got rid of that grind. That's now gone. And even doing the Fisha one here and there because I don't even like mining on Mining Monday because I'm just not a miner. So it just depends on what you're looking for. As you get higher index board, you actually get more credits. You're able to more easily do this. And it also depends on how much of your research you've completed. But either way, even if you go research first, working on maxing out your export research, which is a completely viable strategy. As you can see, I've basically taken that same route. Nothing wrong with that at all. Where I've got most of my stuff maxed. Then you can start working on those. But either way, it was a great quality of life improvement. But there are actually several others that happened that were never mentioned that I want to bring up to you today and show you where they're at. So we're going to update the news post here. Thankfully, they did go back and actually put in an update, and I want to explain to you why these are actually really good for you as a player, especially some of our lower levels who have needed quality of life updates. I remember having a conversation with one of our lower level players in my Discord. They're like, hey, why is everything for 40 plus? And the truth is the G4 and G5 economies definitely need a lot of love, but that doesn't mean that G3 should be completely left out, and they weren't with this update, which is good to see. Some of the quality of life updates that you can take a look at happen in territory. Number one, adjustments to particles. We'll show you the map here in just a second. The territory was updated to remove par steel, tritanium, and dilithium because nobody mined those anyway, and they were simply useless nodes in territory. Now I've been updated to have G3 or G4 nodes and particles added to all of the tier three systems. So here's what actually ends up happening for you as a player that you will want to pay attention to. All right, number one, if you had a, like a tier one um, territory, you've now got a, you know, a node. You might have a G3 crystal node or G3 ore node, but instead of it being tritanium or parcel, it's a legitimate node. Another territory update that came is the increase to how much you refine particles every day was doubled. So where you would get 100 Surex particles before, now you can do 200 a day. That was improved. Then you see that boosting particle output Flat boost across all the T3 territories we discussed, and a flat boost to the OGs. That's big. And then an increase to the subspace relay building. So let's get out of the notes section and talk about how this affects you as a player. So we're going to back out here, go back to our main screen, and then hit our little claims chest. So if you come over to the territory side of things, you're, these are the chests I'm talking about. Your particles have been doubled. So you can now pull more. Let's hop out, go into our galaxy view mode again i love this because it's helping low level players and mid-level alliances so if you go over to the right side of your screen over there click that button you'll see there's a mining tab open it up and then scroll in you will now notice that every system is either a particle or i'm sorry a isogen node or 
a three, four, or five star mining node. So now if you are a low level player or lower alliance, you can actually get stuff. One a great example I used from server 20 is shout out to CSF. CSF now has an ore node that they did not have before. And as you can see with them being, I think they're ranked 20 on our server, rank 20 Alliance now has a territory that gives them two star isogen and three star ore, which if you're a newer or mid-level player in the game can be very valuable to you. Whereas before that was a crappy old node of like Tritanium. Now here's the key. If you were in one of those systems, here's what you have to do to take advantage of it. Now I'm going to go here because I'm pretty sure it's already been covered, but you have to mine out the old node first. So if you had a parsteel node, you're going to need to mine it. And then when it resets, it will become whatever the new nodes are. So if you had an ore node here is what's on the map, it will be an ore node once you actually do the mining. So we'll see if CSF has actually done all their stuff. Let's see, they've not. And that's why I wanted to show you because a lot of alliances might not know this. You actually need to mine these down and they will all populate as ore nodes, but you do have to mine down the original node first. But see, that's the good thing for all the lower level players out there and all the mid-level alliances and low level alliances and just lower power alliances. You're now able to actually get something that matters in your territory. I think that is a really big deal. The other big one is the huge increase to this building. Now, this building really didn't provide a huge increase before. Now it actually is worth investing time into, which means investing into incursions. I know that's a hot button topic right now with all the PvP events. And I do want to make it clear that me acknowledging the four very good quality of life updates in this video does not mean that I think that the events or everything else have gone great. Obviously, player sentiment has shown that's not the case. And we'll cover that in our end of month survey. We might even see changes in some of those events before this month even wraps up because we've talked to the arc runner based on the things that y'all have been saying especially our g3 and g4 players so even with that though seeing the massive increase here helps out everybody because no matter what level you were starting at level 25 plus those that get the incursions building here the subspace relay you're now getting significantly higher boost than you were before it's actually a 500 percent increase so if you are like me at level 28 which Actually, if you're in this chat watching, let me know. What is yours? What, what is your building level? Because I'm pretty confident that mine's lower than quite a few people who watch this channel. But I now have gotten a huge boost to where I now have an 1100% whole health bonus. And before, that was a little or over 200%. And that resulted in me having stronger ships. What does that end up meaning? Well, things like my Tribune can more easily do Q trials. Can more easily hit hostiles. It made me a better player because I now have more survivability. So all these quality of life updates that have come this month, hopefully this is a sign of things in the future. You're starting to see a peak of quality. And again, just because we're frustrated about some events, which I agree, the frustrations are valid. I do want to acknowledge that we finally got a, just a taste. It's just a little taste. I'm not saying, but no, there's going to be, there's always that one person in the comments. You know what? Go ahead and make yourself known. There's always that one person in the comment. Oh, well, Rev shell it for Scopely. He's saying the month's amazing. No, what I'm saying is these four quality of life improvements are amazing. And I want Scopely to continue to do stuff like this. If we could get four quality of life improvements every month that were equal to what we got this month, everybody in the game would be happier, right? If we actually got that consistently. So I want to give them praise for when they do something good, even though for whatever reason, they didn't put in the patch notes until a week after it all happened. Because of course, when Scopely does do something good, they can't let you know about it. But they did finally go and update the notes. So you've got that, and then you've actually got the, you scroll up a little bit, you'll find all the updates, because you've had the officers and all the stuff, all the updates to that chest that I was talking about in your ex Borg store. So those are good things. These are great quality of life improvements to territory, to your ex Borg faction that, uh, depending on where you're at, in a way affect everybody in a positive way not literally every player but most players in the game including helping eliminate some of the loops depending on where you're at in your progressions and your grinds it's not perfect but it's definitely a step in the right direction and now here's the point where get your pitchforks get your torches out because you need those pitchforks and torches to poke them in the rear end and burn their little bottoms to make sure that this type of stuff keeps happening let them know that without these type of improvements you're not going to keep playing the game. Just keep it honest. I'm not saying people should quit. I'm just being real. We have need this game to have these type of improvements for quite some time. Love to see them happening. Now we need more of them, Scopely. Keep at it. Don't stop. You improved communications last month. Don't let communications be bad this month. You improved quality of life this month. Don't let you stop next month. Keep it going. 
and we'll see how things work out of course i want all y'all's opinions and it's going to be a very very interesting end of month survey and remember always bring honesty don't feel like you gotta be my opinion your neighbor's opinion your alliance's opinion be your own opinion let me know what you think we'll definitely keep you know grabbing those pitchforks it's good to have them sometimes you gotta keep them handy you know if you don't well they'll just they'll try to do anything we can't let that happen see you on the next one an even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.